So this motion of cat always land on its feet, it's actually called writing reflex in biology. And not only cats have it, many other animals such as um, rats, squirrels, guinea pigs, um, they all have it. And today I'm introducing you to PP. PP is the stunt cat for today and um, she's going to show you what an actual writing reflex look like. So as you can see, she starts at the fall from rest with an initial position of its tiny legs pointing into the sky. And at the beginning, PP was not rotating. Halfway through the fall, she starts rotating. And then at the end, after achieving the right orientation, PP somehow just stopped the rotation magically. It is this quick motion that confused the physicists from around the world for over a century. Like where does the angular momentum come from? And what is the cat actually doing throughout the rotation? So the reason why this motion does not contradict to the conservation of angular momentum is that we can't picture the cat as a single cylinder or like a rigid body that has one angular velocity. It's actually very flexible and different components of their body can move and rotate in their own directions. So even though the motion looks like it's gaining angular momentum somehow, but it's actually not, which means even though it looks like a rotation, but the motion actually has overall zero angular momentum. But how does the cat actually do it? What is it actually doing from their own frame of reference? A suitable solution to this problem was only proposed in 1969 by Sharon Kane, which they modeled the cat into two cylinders connected by their spine. Boom. But we have to know that there are two restrictions on this model. First one is that we have to know that the cat's spine only bent frontwards and okay and it doesn't really bend backwards so we have to know that the two cylinders has to bend mostly frontwards. The second of all uh, we know that the cat's waist doesn't really twist so the two cylinders has to rotate in the same angular velocity in their own axis or else the cat's waist is going to be like twisted. If we look at the animation here, we can see on the left top corner that if the cat rotates in this V-shaped way locally, it will produce an overall angular momentum pointing to the left. But this means that the entire V-shaped structure should rotate in the other direction. So if we combine these two motions together, boom, we get a solution, which looks like a rotating motion while having no angular momentum. So if we now change to the cat's own frame of reference, the motion should look like this. This animation showing here is actually an exaggeration of the motion because we know that the back bend is actually way less pronounced than the front bend. So do you want to demonstrate what the actual motion look like, PP? The actual motion should look more like this. Now we know the solution to this problem, but other than being very interesting, what other stuff can the solution do? Is it any useful? So the answer is that the solution can actually be applied onto um, technology and space to help astronauts to rotate freely or even robots or satellites to rotate into their own orientation without needing any angular velocity. Alright, um, thanks for listening guys. and. Hope that you find this topic very interesting and hope you like PP and hope um, we'll get a high mark on this video. Thanks.